alone. Doc protests too much, Mr. Johnson. <laughs> Rogers was on McAfee and addressed the idea that he played a role in Solid's exit, saying, I resent any of those accusations because they're patently false. It's interesting the amount of power that people think I have, which I don't. Brew, your reaction. First of all, I gotta say, I, I love the way Aaron Rodgers set that quote up. With the, I'm close with his family, and maybe he is, but I throw the football. Oh with yeah, his son. name checked one of his it, kids. It made you feel like, how he couldn't have called the hit. <laughs> he could not have called the hit. He's tight with. Was it Adam? His son? Yeah. I think he said Adam. But look, here's here's I know this for a fact. Okay. And this means Aaron Rodgers is responsible. Had he played even mediocre football the last two weeks. Robert Sala would still have a job. Definitely. They'd be at least three and two, maybe four and one, and we wouldn't be having this conversation. And Aaron almost acknowledged as much as that he, later when which he was, was like, you take nice accountability if you, we play better yes. this Sunday. No, no question about yeah. it. But we, we also, look, I don't think Aaron Rodgers, as I said, ordered the hit. I don't, I, but I do think it is, it stretches the bounds of common sense to think that the owner, Woody Johnson, would not have run this by Aaron Rodgers. And had Aaron Rodgers said, hold, our defense, I, Woody, the defense is playing great. We, the offense has been the problem. I don't think we, I, I love Robert, as he's been saying, we don't need a coaching change. Woody Johnson doesn't pull the trigger if Rodgers says stop. So at the very, I don't, I don't think he ordered it, but I think Johnson brought it up to him and he didn't stop it. All right. We also know this. When Aaron Rodgers said, I don't have the power, well, Nat Hackett, Alan Lazard, Randall Cobb, and Tim Boyle beg to differ. All right. You got them jobs with the Jets. And then finally, I hate to say it, but it's true. We know Aaron Rodgers isn't above lying well, that's, publicly. That's we, the, we know it. We, it's a fact. So, right? So that's the, it may, the, I didn't want to, the, the, um, yes. that's the most important piece here. Because, by, for the record, I do not think it would have been Aaron Rodgers' responsibility if Woody Johnson said, I'm thinking Salah, to say, don't do it. Because I think that firing Salah is probably the right decision. The reason I'm saying just this probably, time, no? well, that's why I'm not, I was certain it would have been the right decision over the summer, or I mean o over the offseason awesome. when you could have hired Mike Vrabel or, or a, a forward-thinking offensive coordinator or something like that. Uh, because I'm not a solid guy when it comes to his coaching, right. head coaching ability. But I think it's probably the right idea that they needed to shake something up. And we already know Rodgers is untouchable. And we know Nat Hackett's unfireable. Now, maybe he's, he can be deposed, but we know he's unfireable. And I don't think Devontae Adams is going to wave a magic wand and save the day. But what Bruce said at the end matters. And this is why... Credibility and reputation matters. So I'll say something kind of personal about, uh, about our group, and then I want to go through a list. Years ago, when we knew each other, but we weren't partners on TV yet, I don't even remember the exact specifics of it, but you said something on Undisputed, and Kevin Durant came out and said, Chris Broussard's lying. <laughs> and I didn't reach out to Chris. I obviously don't know KD. And I went on First Things First the next morning and said, no, he's not. I, I said, I, I, I guarantee you what Brew said is accurate because Brew has a 50-year reputation publicly of being honest. And that was sorted out the way it was. Here is what Aaron Rodgers. Do you have a story about me? What? Do you have a story about me? I don't Actually, you, we don't. You, don't. We don't. Uh, um, uh, here is what Aaron Rodgers in the last... 18 months. We, we have a short show today. I, 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 which is why I'm going to read them quickly. Okay. Has asked us to believe. <laughs> and I'm going to leave out the most notorious lie because he thinks this lie is the reason everyone dislikes him. The first one at the press conference when we were all wearing masks. Right. Let's pretend that one didn't happen. He w told us he was 90% of the way retired before hanging out in a dark hole and some vision or something told him he's got to go play for the Jets. Mm -hmm. Believe me, I'm Aaron Rodgers. I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> he told us, my phone doesn't work at my palatial Southern California estate. Believe me, I'm Aaron Rodgers. I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> he told us that a reporter was lying and that he had no hand whatsoever 
in the Jets offseason moves, and it was just coincidental that they said Tim Boyle, Randall Cobb, Alan Lazard, and Nat Hackett are on the top of our wish list. He told us that he found out that listening to dolphins have sex helps your Achilles tendon heal. He told us that I'm Aaron Rodgers, <laughs> has, believe me. Has that been disproved? And, well, and he told us, by the way, that, that that Achilles tendon was healed enough that he was going to yeah, be able to good. play right, football right, right. Yeah. in December. You say that. And he told us, believe me, me and Robert Sala have a great relationship, despite the fact I checked him in the chest a couple weeks ago. And I'm Aaron Rodgers, and I'm here to tell you the truth. The owner of the New York Jets called me. When he said, yeah, he calls me occasionally. He called me after I tore my Achilles is one of the references. I'm like, well, yeah, I would imagine. But it's not like they have weekly check-ins. He happened to call me 12 hours before he fired the head coach, and it never came up in conversation. I'm here to tell you I don't believe you. I, now, did I, do I, am I saying you told him to fire him or whatever it is? No. What I am here to tell you is you lie to me nine times in 18 months I'm not going to believe the 10th. So, no, I don't believe you. Do you think there could be a sort of unspoken check-in where Rodgers can be telling the truth and Woody Johnson can be telling the truth, but just a lot of like, hey, how do you think things are going? Like where there's a, just an undercurrent, but it's never said. Rodgers can be telling the truth when he says, I resent that people, what was the exact quote? That I got him fired. That I got him fired. Yeah, sure. He can, you can justify that, yeah. rationalize that in your mind. Because I didn't tell him go fire uh, Robert Sala. He, he had the idea in his head already. He came to me with it. I was like, hey, it's your, t and he probably didn't even say, yeah, I think that's a good idea. He probably just didn't stop it. And you're Aaron Rodgers, you could have stopped it. So in his mind, just like saying I was immunized yeah. versus vaccinated, in your mind, you can kind so of justify think, that so as telling I, him. So I think that that is giving him too much leeway and credit. Me? N no, not you. Just no. saying no. that yes. he's yeah. actually yeah. telling yeah. the truth yeah. in his Yeah, so I, if what you're saying is, could Woody have been like, so Aaron, you know, tough game. You know, th I'm thinking of making, you know, some changes. It's like, and Aaron's like, yeah, man, we need some changes. And, yeah. you know, a oh, conversation yeah. with massive subtext and no overt text. Then he wouldn't have been telling the truth on McAfee. I listened to this whole miserable 40 minutes and I heard him. No, nope, oh, he was. He, yeah, that. he was. He, we didn't talk about anything about that. It's nothing about that. He wanted to make sure I was doing OK. It yeah. was a quick call. He made it. So I just no, that wouldn't. He's not a trustworthy person. So you're, you're more hardened than I am. I, I, I just, but I think he, in his mind, he's telling the truth. No, I give him every time I hear Aaron Rodgers, I say maybe. You say no, but I'm like, maybe, maybe, I, maybe not. A everything he says, maybe, maybe can not. I, can I give a just? But a you word. gotta, you think he knew this was I, coming? I Again, also maybe. So here's the I thing. Just, I just think his state status in the organization. Woody Johnson doesn't have to tell, you know, uh, uh, Garrett Wilson, we're getting rid of Robert. You got to tell Aaron Rodgers. He called him the you night before. You have to tell him. The other thing is, Aaron would be, for the record, he's having to walk a delicate PR line here. If, my, if, the, if the biggest boss of, my, of this company, who I talk to on the phone maybe twice a year, Sounds like we're on the same schedule. Mm -hmm. Not the biggest, biggest boss of the company. Say, I don't talk to Rupert Murdoch, but the biggest <laughs> Fox Sports boss. Um, if he called me, one of the couple check-ins we have, and the next day fired my boss, I'd be pissed. Like, it didn't come up. Like, uh, it, it yeah, didn't true. come up. And so, at you, Wilds, I think, I think one of the reasons I'm so kind of hardened and you're so optimistic is I think has to do with our own maybe... Uh, ways we spend our leisure time. I hang around with a lot more disingenuous kind of sleazy people. And so I think you see Aaron and you're like, he feels credible. He feels sincere. He why and I poker say, player. right. And like, I'm no, like, you don't. You seem like a con man. And in this instance, I'm not trying to be rude. You're the mark. You're like, oh, he's geez. going to believe. <laughs> like, I'm going to be able to get you over on it. And I'm and like, like, and I, like, yeah, and I'm like, no, I know exactly who this guy is. Oh, but to and Nick's that, point, you said about being ticked off if the, the owner, yes. you know, your boss had gotten fired. If I'm Aaron Rodgers and I had no clue. No clue. 
And I know, and he, maybe somebody have told him, maybe he just knew. These types of firings generally don't work out. When you fire somebody in the middle of the season, you generally don't make the playoffs and certainly not the Super Bowl. And that, knowing all that, I would be ticked off and, and if you did this without me yeah, knowing. Nobody's ever made the Super Bowl. Nobody's and ever yeah, made so the Super Bowl. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. So Raiders he made it a little harder on Aaron Rodgers to resurrect and, the Jets. And, and teams being with the coach fired when you're one game below 500 right. in the middle of the season. Unprecedented.